Today we did our home check for sweet Olivia, who has spent her entire life in a kennel. An angel named Adela had rescued Olivia when she was a baby from the abandoned end in the Everglades, suffering and alone, brought her into safety where she lived her entire life in a kennel. 100 plus abandoned dogs had taken Olivia under their wing, and today, after months and months of her in Camp K-9, which is not so bad. She's been socialized, playing, and having a wonderful life. But today is the first day of her journey where she is going into a loving forever home as a foster to possibly be adopted. And next you will see exactly where Miss Olivia will be living. We are so overjoyed. And we thank this wonderful couple for opening their hearts and homes to our sweet Olivia. Hi, Craig. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. Yay! Hi. Hi. So, hi, hi Craig. Hi, You're on video if you don't mind. Uh, hi, I'm Amy. I mean, nice to meet nice you. To meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank hi, Carol. Carol. Nice to meet you. How are you? <laughs> okay, so Olivia, there's a woman down in the rural area where we do our rescuing. Okay. And there's thousands of dogs just dumped reproducing. This woman is amazing. She's in her 70s and she's lived there for over 30 years. She reached out to me when she saw what I was doing. My number's been all over the news. So she said, can you help me? I said, sure, what do you need? I need food. How many dogs do you have? She said, 150. Oh my God. She was picking them up. Right. And she didn't know what to do. Like, it'd be like you living here and seeing all these strays. What are you going to do? Yeah. You know, animal control is not doing anything. They're killing them. Mm -hmm. So she was picking them up as puppies and dumpsters, in bags still alive tied up, throwing the words. Oh. Olivia was one of them that she picked up. And she built May shafts, like these kennels outside. Right. And when I pulled up, all I heard was barking, 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 barking. And it was hidden because if animal control finds out, they seize and they kill. Oh. So she's doing her part. They're fed, they're vetted, they're vaccinated, they're spayed or neutered. And she's doing the best she can. Mm -hmm. So I pull up and there's all these dogs. And I'm crying. I look mm -hmm. at her. I said, this is no life, Adela. She goes, don't you think I know that? So since then, we've cut her down. I think she has 28 dogs from 150. And Olivia is one that we took. And so she lived her whole life in an outside kennel. And then I got her vetted, you know, as whatever she didn't finish up on. And she, I took her to Camp K-9 where she's been living so she would be able to socialize, yeah. be with other dogs, which she's amazing with other dogs. She's amazing with chill. She's amazing with everything. Her yeah. soul is just as kind as can be. You know, I think she's maybe about three or four, mm -hmm. you know, so. What do you think she is? They said they thought maybe she's a coon. Maybe. Who knows, Who knows what yeah. was mixed with. Yeah. Um, she has that beautiful Afghani face. That's like, what I thought when I saw I her see Afghan, Afghan in her, her yeah. snout. That's what I thought, like a saluki or Afghan. Yeah. But she's very sweet. Mm -hmm. She's very special. And yeah. when I pulled up here, I was like, jackpot. <laughs> I, I know what kind of love you're going to give her. Mm -hmm. I know it's unconditional. Mm -hmm. And that's what they deserve. Yeah. Yeah, that's what these animals do. That's our goal, mm -hmm. is to come to the home. And we're never looking for fancy or elaborate. Or, we're mm -hmm. looking for love and safe mm -hmm. and unconditional. Mm -hmm. you know? And we know she's house trained because she was fostered for a very short time by one of our doctors. Okay. And she just, for, she want, her husband wanted a, a small dobie, so mm -hmm. she got the first dog of her pick, which is one of Adela's dogs, Pee Wee, which is now Scooby. Mm -hmm. And so she fell in love with um, Olivia as well. So she took her in the house with her young kids and mm -hmm. Scooby, and everything was perfect. She said, Amy, she's perfect. Oh. But my husband is fighting me, he wants a puppy. Mm -hmm. So she gave her back. Oh. So it was just for a week that she yeah. fostered her, but right. an angel. An oh, angel. That's so good to so hear. you're going to have a dog that is house trained, doesn't chew, doesn't pee, doesn't poop. Yeah. Gets along with all other dogs, mm -hmm. you know. So. It's so perfect because I want a calm. And she's dog. very calm. So when we were at Camp Kenan this morning, they said something about crating her, and I don't like crating. You don't need to. Okay. We don't crate. Okay. We don't crate. A lot of people believe in crating. I do. I hate crating. Crating. We didn't even crate our puppies. I mean, yeah. we had PP pads, and they did on their thing. Right. Yeah. And I feel that when you open the door and you take them, she's already trained anyway, so you don't yeah. have to deal with that. Yeah. Right. You're gonna come in, you're gonna show her when she does go to the bathroom, it's like, yay, Olivia, you know, yeah. we're gonna praise her. She's gonna know. Yeah. You're lucky, a yeah. lot of the dogs that we've taken in, mm -hmm. nightmares, chew everything. Yeah. And to think they've been out there, whether it's in a cage or roaming, as soon as they come into a home, it's like
like they have this separation anxiety in an hour, yeah. and they start chewing things, eating things, she's nothing like that. Yeah. I've had a lot of dogs like that, oh, okay. you know, so you don't have that with her. Okay. So you like, yes. you picked a good one. Yeah. I'm surprised she's still yeah. available. I'm shocked. We are too. We are too. Yes. Show us the um, backyard. Yes, I'll show you everything. Do you want to see the rest of the house? I want to do the backyard first, because like, oh, I'm going to show the video. Okay, so oh, okay. Yeah. Show where Olivia's going to be able okay, to so, play. Yeah, so we can't do, I don't know if she likes the water, but she can swim in the pool. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Hi, guys. You know, I don't know if she's ever swam before. This is great. <laughs> this is awesome. What, do they swim? Do they like They don't. They don't. They don't like it. You're too spoiled and you don't want to go swimming? <laughs> Have you tried to bring them in and they don't like just it? Just a couple times just to, so they know where the stairs are yeah. in case they were to fall over yeah. something. But. Yeah. It's and beautiful. We, it's so what beautiful. I do with Marley who loves to run, like I fill a bowl and he like runs through Cutting it off. 